Welcome back to today's video, Win the Bid. How do you write an offer that gets accepted? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole Bowdle and I'm a local real estate agent in Park City, Utah with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. First thing, price. Price is a huge deal but it is not the only thing that matters. And sometimes if you have multiple offers, you can use an escalation clause to win the bid. Number two is your contract deadlines. Do they appeal to the seller's terms? Is it what the seller wants? Is it close to what the seller wants? Making your deadlines as short as possible is a huge perk to sellers sends a really strong message and your earnest shortens the dates for your earnest money to become refundable. Also, if you can accommodate the seller's moving schedule, your offer might be more likely to get accepted. Three is earnest money. Now remember, earnest money is a certain amount of money that is set aside to protect the other party from harm. So in case you default, it is set aside as a protection for that seller. Now, the more earnest money you put down, the stronger your offer is going to look in the eyes of a seller. You could even offer additional earnest money and you could even offer half of your earnest money to be non-refundable if in case you do end up canceling the contract. That sends a strong message to the seller that you're a really serious buyer and it could potentially help you win the bid if you're amongst multiple offers. We need to include with this offer a strong letter from the lender that lets them know that you are pre-approved, qualified, and you are a strong buyer and you will be able to close the deal. Number five, we wanna reduce or eliminate contingencies completely, especially if we're in a hot market. And so if you have to sell your house before you can make an offer, that is going to be a very weak offer with that contingency because that just drags out the, the contract for quite a while because they're waiting on the sale of your house and hoping that nothing goes wrong with the sale of your house. Other contingencies that could be on there is the due diligence period, which is your home inspection and your financing and appraisal deadline or just an appraisal if you're a cash buyer. So trying to eliminate as many of those contingency as possible is gonna strengthen your offer as well or shortening those timelines, especially if you still want a home inspection, get in there, get it done and do your due diligence fast and that will send a strong message as well. Number six, your agent needs to know what they are doing, you guys. They need to make sure there's no blanks in there, no mistakes, no misspellings, nothing that is checked wrong, and proof your offers, you guys. I am meticulous when it comes to writing an offer to the other party, and I make sure that I have that offer SWAT teamed, and it is so clean and so well written, and I proof that thing to make sure that it is an offer that is clean and will be well received by the other side, giving them confidence that we are somebody that will be good to work with. Number seven, if you are a buyer, include a letter about yourself to the seller, letting them know who you are and introducing yourself a little bit. And some sellers, it might just be all about price and they might find this totally cheesy, but other sellers might really appreciate it, especially if they've been in their home a long time and they know that somebody is gonna take great care of it who is gonna be purchasing it next. And number eight, a lot of people don't think about this, but as an agent, I write a letter to the other agent to let them know, hey, I am a great communicator, I am going to be great to work with, and we are going to get this thing done and you can count on me. So sometimes that plays a huge deal into it as well. And the other side wants to make sure that they are working with a group of individuals that are gonna be great to work with and know what they're doing. So that is how you get your offer accepted. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing. I post new videos every single Monday. See you next week.